Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, the Lone Fox 4737, and today I am doing my setup. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I actually left the other channel, I felt bad, and on the 19th is my two year anniversary on uh, YouTube. So I thought I'd do a little setup video, so uh, here we go. So uh, this is my desktop, or my desk I should say. Uh, don't mind this mess, but I and that mess. Uh, that's my old computer that I was using. Uh, it's a piece of shit, but it actually saved me. Uh, with my other PC, I'll explain that to you in a second. Uh, there's my Xbox One. Uh, this little thing right here, I put my drinks on it and shit when I drink stuff, not alcohol, because I'm not of age yet. Uh, and um, this is my TV. It's not a monitor. It's an Insignia 24-inch uh, 10 HP 60 Hertz TV. It's actually really good. It was only cost me around 110 bucks. Uh, it's my keyboard, piece of shit keyboard, piece of shit mouse. It's my capture card. It is an Aver Media Live Gamer Portable. Uh, really good capture card. Highly would recommend it. Um, I like it better than the Elgato's just because it's. Uh, you can bring it around. See, so, uh, it's got the. That's why it's portable. It's got an SD card slot right there, where you can actually uh, switch this to a uh, piece uh, SD card mode or whatever, and then you can um, record without a computer. You can't record. You can record your voice as well if you uh, use these uh, audio in and outs there, somewhere there. Uh, I'll switch it back so it uses my PC. This is my new PC. I'll get back to it in a second. It was a pain in my ass, and I'll explain that to you in a second here. Uh, here's my games. I have Halo. Halo 4 is an Xbox One. Or Xbox 4. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, Xbox 360 game. A little glass there of eggnog, because eggnog's best. Um, so, Halo, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Grand Theft Auto 5 for next gen, Battlefield 4 for next gen, Halo, the Master Chief Collection again, and Far Cry 4. This is just my. Xbox controller and a bunch of other stuff. Oh, I forgot to mention my headset. Now, this is the new headset I've been talking about. There's my mess again. Um, this is it's called the Plantronics Rig. It's an amazing headset. I had a little bit of trouble hooking it up, and that's just because I've never used a mix amp before, which is right there. Um, and basically, what the mix amp does is here. I'll put the camera down for a second, and I'll grab out my cord. Now what you actually need for it, for the Xbox One version, you, or uh, not version, for the Xbox One, you actually need the stereo headset adapter, so I got it all set up now. Uh, I'm trying to pick it up without dropping my phone, okay. Um, so basically what you do is, it comes with a cord, uh, you plug the cord into here, and it goes to your Xbox One controller, and now you can turn up, balance the party and whatever volumes, but what you can do on this, is I could, this left side slider here, there's a slider on my finger moving it. See, I don't know if you could hear my music a lot. Um, that's for the PC I set it to, and this one is for my Xbox. And the nice thing about that is that I can be listening to music, balance them, and if I want to turn the music down and turn this up, I can do that. And then there's the master volume right there. And then uh, it's also got two different mic inputs. I have it set to default on this one, this side, because um, then I can talk to my friends on Xbox and blah, 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 blah. And then this side, when I switch it to that, you can see that it switches over to blue. And um, now, since I, I kind of cheated, I actually got this uh, connector. But this is this part right here is supposed to go into a phone or something. And then you're supposed to, this is supposed to be phone sound. This is supposed to be game sound. But I cheated and I did it. PC and Xbox cuz YOLO. And then when you switch to this, then you're using your mic on your phone. You can talk on your phone through the headset. And it's kind of just a cool thing being able to switch back and forth and whatnot. And then you got your mute. This is an equalizer button. And this is the call answer button when you're on this. So yeah, that's, I thought it was pretty cool. So I got that from this bucket, which is just a bunch of cords I don't use. Um, this one. Or no, this one's the, sorry, I just started arranging my shit. This one's the one I do, oh, sorry, I do use. This one's the one that I don't use, except for these tacks. I use these tacks for posters, which I'll show you in a second. Not that you, you just don't cooperate, whatever. 
This looks funny to you, doesn't it? But what it is, is kinetic sand, bitches. It's really awesome. It's just like sand that doesn't dry out and it like falls apart and then when you push it together it goes hard. It, I don't know, it's just really dope and cool and shit. These are my Advanced Warfare gloves. I got them on the minute release of Advanced Warfare. This is my sticky notes and shit. Uh, this is how I plan videos and stuff, but I've been using the whiteboard more recently because you can erase it and you're not wasting paper. Uh, and basically, I just if I don't write them down, I kind of forget about them. So when I have a video idea, I kind of write it down a little bit. And then yeah, here's my Pinetronics rig user manual. This used to have an iPhone in it, but I actually fixed it. This is my broke ass uh, Galaxy S4. This. Now here come or here I'll, I'll say what these are zip ties and I'll show you my shrine then I'll tell you about the story about this. So here's the shrine or this is the shrine. It's got my Xbox One, my new phone. This is my new phone by the way, better than my S4 and my iPhone and it only costs like 160 bucks without a contract and it's unlocked and has dual SIM and blah blah blah. It's really cool. It's called the it's a, it's a Kata i3s. It's an Amazon kind of brand, whatever, made in the Philippines. There's my PC, Xbox One, PS4 when I had one, uh, Galaxy S3. This is my Bluetooth speaker, which I don't know if you guys saw on my desk, but it was sitting there, but it's not really important. Uh, this is the Plantronics rig, my headset, and this is my capture card with two uh, control freaks. These are for the 360, but I don't use the 360 anymore, so yeah, they're just there. And then here's my posters. I got a Minecraft, I got... Destiny, I got Call of Duty, got the Grand Theft Auto 5 map, got Grand Theft Auto 5 poster, and Doctor Who, of course. Now, back to hard drive. This guy came inside this guy, right there. Okay? So, when I first turned on my PC, it was working just fine. I was downloading, I, ins I didn't have to do any updates because I had updated drivers already. Uh, the Windows 8 updates were already there. Uh, this is my first Windows 8 PC, by the way. And uh, I'm going to sit down for this. Basically what happened is I installed a shit ton of games. Like, I had 40 games installed finally. It took me about f 7 hours, because I don't have the fastest internet, but that's still pretty fast. And basically what happened is I turned off my computer to give it a nice restart, whatever. Uh, just cause I felt like I should since I installed new graphics drivers, I installed, uh, those ones I needed to upgrade. And I installed a bunch of games, installed Microsoft DirectX for games and blah blah blah, so I thought I might as well restart it just to give her a good boot. And, um, it went, when it turned on, it would go to the loading screen and I'd go to the desktop. And I'm used to it with the other computer for waiting for like five, six minutes for it to get all ready, but... So I went upstairs and made a coffee. When I came back down, I tried opening something and my computer froze. It just completely froze. It wouldn't do shit. Uh, the mouse would move, actually. It, the mouse would move so it wasn't like some screen or graphics card error. It was the hard drive. And I was able to tell that because when I first turned on the computer, it was making this really like, it was making kind of like a tappy sound. And I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, that's new. Never heard that before. So, I was really pissed because I just got this new computer I've been waiting for a long time. I've been hoping to get a new computer for a very, very long time, about like half a year. And I finally got it and it wasn't working. I was just like pissed. And then, one of their, uh, this is CyberPower PC, not, it's spelled with a C, it's a division of c Cyber, it's a division of Cyber, whatever. It's kind of weird. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they say, this machine was fully upgradable, and it is, but it's a pain in the fucking ass to get inside there. Like, holy shit. You felt like, I felt like you had to take off the top, which is this side here. I felt like I was going to rip the machine apart, because I was Googling, there's no indication of what or how to take it apart, and there's no screws I could find besides the ones that are keeping the graphics card in place and the motherboard in place. And, and the power supply frame or whatever and I felt like I was going to rip it apart and so I just said fuck it 
I'd rather have a broken top than a, no PC at all. So I just ripped it off. And there's a hinge in the back that's keeping it on. I didn't rip that off, but I didn't know that. And I kind of like took it off. It's not broken, but I thought for sure it'd break somewhere. I looked all around and I was like, it's got to be broken somewhere. No, it's just impossible to take off the top. So what I did is I actually left this place a little bit loose. You can't even tell because it's so fucking firm. This is like pure metal and plastic. But I ripped it off, turned it around on the hinge, and then on the inside it's like a big clusterfuck of shit. And so to get the hard drive out, I found out that I had to take out this one tray, flip it over, take out the hard drive and replace it. And what I did, had to do for another two hours, is take the hard drive out of this computer and put it into this one because this guy was faulty. It's just, I don't know why they would send me a faulty hard drive, but... They hand built it and they should have hand tested it too because they would have noticed and they would have fixed it. But no, so that made me mad because first eight, nine hours I had with my PC, I was fixing it and downloading games. Now I'm actually able to play it. What I had to do is I had to download a program called uh, Power ISO. And uh, what I did is I went to the Windows website. Here, I'll show my Steam. I went to the Windows website and I downloaded the. Uh, Put everything it's called. I don't know what it's called. It makes a fake disk, whatever, for your Windows in case you lose your Windows disk. And I just went on Power ISO, booted it up, and it worked just fine when I had to reinstall it on the new hard drive or the new hard drive. But they're the same. The other hard drive's actually better. Um, the other one's still one terabyte. They're both 6 gigabits per second, but this one's running at like 5400 RPM or something like that. can't see where it says. Wait, it was just complete shitty. So I'm going to complain to them and tell them to get their shit together. I don't know. It's got to be their fault because I did order this from Future Shop, but they put it together still. So it wasn't Future Shop's bad. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to have to complain to them. I think I'm just going to take this one apart just for the hell of it. And yeah, so I guess I might as well run over the specs instead. Of, I'll put them in the description as well. It's a 750 Ti uh, with two gigabytes of GDDR5. I don't know the stream processors, but I'm thinking it's around 768. Or not stream processors, uh, Cuda cores. Uh, it's a Intel Core i3. I'm going to upgrade that probably later to an i7. Uh, 4150. It's a 3.5 gigahertz dual core with uh, two hyper hyper threading cores. Um, it's got 8 gigs of RAM, uh, 250 watt PSU, which I'm also going to have to upgrade. And uh, what else does it have that's important? Get it. I don't know the motherboard name. I know it's made by ASRock, but when I restored uh, Windows or whatever on my PC, I lost the new user manual that came with it. But it has Wi Fi. And I'm pretty sure you can get Bluetooth on it too, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the whole PC specs thing. But yeah, uh, that's the end of this review, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go play some PC games finally. I downloaded all these overnight. I just left on the computer. I don't know, it's whatever, uh, starting from here, top. Downloaded all these overnight. All the Call of Duties, all the whatevers, I still got a couple, but it's just the Forest and Gary's mod that I really am worried about. I don't care about the other ones. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to be notified when I upload. And yeah, prepare to see some better PC or P some PC games and um, also better quality videos, hopefully. And more videos. I'm going to try to upload more videos. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>